Hi and Assalamu alaikum. Very good evening. So, today I would like to present about protein in soybeans. Soybeans are a type of legume native to Asia. Soybeans are a type of legume that can be eaten for whole or processed into a variety of forms such as tofu, edamame, and tempeh. 100 grams of raw soybean supply 36% of protein. Soy protein. Soy protein is a protein that is isolated from soybean. It is made from soybean meal that has been dehulled and defected. So, the question is, is soybean good source of protein? Absolutely, yes. Soy is a good source of protein for people who want to reduce the amount of meat they eat. Soy protein have complete protein profile, which means that it contains all nine essential amino acids that human need. Soy is high in plant-based protein and a good source of many nutrients and phytochemicals. Soy products as tofu, tempeh, and itamame are among the richest source of protein in a vegan diet. The protein content varies with how the soy is prepared. Firm tofu, which is soybean curds, contains about 10 gram, 10 gram of protein per half cup. Itamami beans, which is immature soybeans, contain 8.5 gram of protein per half cup. And tempeh contains about 15 gram of protein per half cup. So, the main types of protein in soybeans are glycinin and conglycinin, which make up approximately 80% of the total protein. Consumption of soy protein may decrease in cholesterol level. Soy may help in lower cholesterol, improve fertility outcomes, and reduce monopause system. So, some people are wondering that why soy is bad for males? Because soy contains phytoestrogens. Men may worry about including it in their diet. However, studies do not indicate that soy negatively impacts the production of testosteron in men. In a review of 15 studies in men, intake of soy foods, protein powders, or isoflavin supplements up to 70 grams of soy protein and 240 mg of soy isoflavins per day did not affect free testosterone or total testosterone levels. What is more, soy may reduce the risk of prostate cancer in men. In a review of 30 studies, high consumption was linked to significantly lower risk of developing the disease. That's all from me. Thank you.